Blessings and Woes, Luke 6, 20-26, The Transformative Sermon of Jesus. In the Gospel of Luke 6, 20-26, Jesus delivers a message that transcends time, reaching into the depths of our hearts and calling us to a higher way of living. As he raises his eyes toward his disciples, he speaks words that challenge our understanding of blessing and woe, urging us to see beyond the surface of our circumstances. Picture Jesus on a hillside, his eyes filled with compassion and divine wisdom. He begins with a series of blessings, each one a promise to those who find themselves in the most vulnerable and desperate situations. Blessed are you who are poor, for the kingdom of God is yours. In these words, Jesus acknowledges the struggles of those who lack material wealth, yet he offers them the greatest treasure of all, the kingdom of God. This is a call to recognize that true richness lies not in earthly possessions, but in the spiritual abundance that God provides. Blessed are you who are now hungry, for you will be satisfied. Jesus speaks to those who experience physical and spiritual hunger, promising that their needs will be met. This is a reminder that God sees our deepest longings and will fulfill them in his perfect timing. Blessed are you who are now weeping, for you will laugh. To those who are grieving and brokenhearted, Jesus offers the hope of joy and restoration. He assures us that our tears are not in vain and that laughter will come as a testament to God's healing power. Blessed are you when people hate you and when they exclude and insult you and denounce your name as evil on account of the Son of Man. Jesus acknowledges the pain of rejection and persecution, yet he calls us to rejoice in these moments. For in enduring such trials, we align ourselves with the prophets who were also mistreated for their faithfulness. Our reward in heaven will be great, far surpassing any earthly suffering. But Jesus does not stop there. He also issues a series of woes, stark warnings to those who place their trust in worldly comforts and accolades. Woe to you who are rich, for you have received your consolation. Jesus cautions those who find their security in wealth, reminding them that earthly riches are fleeting and cannot compare to the eternal riches of God's kingdom. Woe to you who are filled now, for you will be hungry. He warns against complacency and self-satisfaction, urging us to remain spiritually hungry and dependent on God. Woe to you who laugh now, for you will grieve and weep. Jesus challenges those who find joy in superficial pleasures, reminding them that true joy comes from a deeper spiritual source. Woe to you when all speak well of you, for their ancestors treated the false prophets in this way. Finally, Jesus warns against seeking the approval of others, encouraging us to remain true to our faith even when it leads to criticism and rejection. This gospel is a profound call to transformation. It invites us to shift our focus from the temporary to the eternal, from worldly comforts to spiritual growth. Jesus' blessings and warnings are not just challenges, but invitations to embrace struggles as pathways to growth and to trust in God's promises, even when they seem far off. As we reflect on these words, may we be inspired to live with greater faith, hope, and love. May we find comfort in the blessings Jesus offers and heed the warnings he gives. And above all, let us strive to align our lives with his teachings, knowing that true fulfillment is found only in him. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thank you and God bless you.